auto detecting. It's not auto detecting, Gavin. So what can no one in technology shut up about in the last three or so years? 5G. So the editor of Tech Magazine, Gavin Dudley, and I, we do a podcast together that's called Overclock Today. I'll link it down in the description. We went out to the mean streets of Cape Town to test this out. Here's what we found. So Gavin, what are we actually doing here? We're, we're driving safely in this car with the windows open and our masks on. Okay, but technically my window isn't open. We have decided that the only way to assess South Africa's 5G future is to actually go and take the devices into the field both Vodacom and MTN. We have two different 5G devices and we're going to test both networks. In Cape Town, the network footprint is a hell of a small, so it requires a bit of driving around. But that's okay, we've committed to doing it now. We'll let you know and we'll grab some pictures and clips of the, of the test as it happens. Okay, let's pull it back a little bit. What is 5G? 5G is the fifth generation of mobile connectivity standards. So the flavor of 5G that we're getting right now is called 5G NR, which is new radio, which is a sub six category. So the standards say that this denotes a frequency of sub six gigahertz and a bandwidth of above a hundred megahertz. So then proper 5G is above the six gigahertz, which is referred to as millimeter wave, and then a maximum of 400 megahertz on the bandwidth. So you can think of frequency as the size of the pipe, and then bandwidth is the pressure of the water pushing through that pipe. So 5G NR is built on top of the pre-existing LTE, which stands for long-term evolution, or as you know it by its generational name, 4G, so it's built on top of that network, but it's not compatible with the radio receivers that are in your 4G LTE handsets. So the big improvements 5G NR currently brings is a 15% increase in network speed and a theoretical 15% increase in network performance. Now first, the slippery went wet. But do you have 5G signal? That is uh, what we are asking. If I press the button, what am I going to tell them we're doing? Um, tell them we... Do we have a meeting inside? No. Possibly. Hi there. Uh, we have a meeting at Vodacom. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> and it was that easy. Yeah. It was that easy. Right here. Your shady spot is there. Okay, I'm gonna call you just so we know it's connected. Uh, here comes my call. Okay. There, there's the call. Right. There's the call. Hi. Cool. So now we there go we to new radio. What the hell is new radio? What does it's, that even it's, mean? It's the the sub six 5G. We've had this discussion, Gavin. <laughs> Six. And I'm still getting 4G plus. Start this. <laughs> Sorry about the. the are you using Ookla or are you? No, I use I use Meteor because the. So I'm getting 86 megabits per second down. But it's using many of the same tricks that LTE Advance was using to break the gigabit per second barrier. So one of those tricks is orthogonal frequency division multiplex. So that splits data packets over multiple carrier frequencies. So I'm going to oversimplify it. But this OFDM basically means that the receiver can reject all the signals that it doesn't want. And the transmitter can send the data packets in just the right slices of the frequency where it doesn't interfere with higher or lower. So that's also the same technology that allows for asymmetrical digital subscriber line ADSL to reach higher speeds and have less interference. So gigahertz you probably heard of if you know a little bit about Wi-Fi. So 2.4 gigahertz basically has three non-overlapping segments of 20 megahertz each and then 5 gigahertz goes over 23 channels. Okay, what do we got here? Yeah, immediately again. 5G. 5G. 5G right up in there man. So let's do the old speed test. Okay. 
Interestingly, oh no, you're getting, I got 91 twice. No, so you're getting exactly the same speed as me. And 75 on the, ah. Oh. Hmm. So that's where we have the 5G. It's not ideal. It's not the 6 gigahertz version that we want. It's in R. And that's good enough for now, I reckon. Um, a couple of guys, Papi Mabele from Tupo, he was pulling 300 megabits per second on the MTA network up in Joburg. Um, Gavin and I, we didn't have the right APNs, I imagine. And I'll give it another shot on Vodacom um, with this device. We'll probably reach that 150. I mean, like 150 for me is fast enough. And if you're shopping, if you're shopping for a phone above 15,000 rand, man, you got to get 5G. In 2020, you got to get 5G, man. Just for that forward compatibility. You always want headroom to grow into a device. But that's just my opinion. I'm Lindsay. I'll catch you in the next one.